Healthy eating is all about feeding your body fresh and nutritious foods. This should include healthy vegetables, fruits and nuts, grains, legumes, dairy, and lean meats and fish. Even though all these foods are good for us, there are still some that we should eat lots of, and some we should limit. We should eat lots of vegetables, legumes, and grains. But we should eat lean meats, dairy, and fruits and nuts in moderate amounts, which means not heaps and heaps. There are some foods that should only be a sometimes treat because they're not very good for us and have very little nutritional value, like sugary or fat foods and drinks. And of course, we should drink plenty of water every single day. When you combine healthy foods with physical activity, it will help you feel healthy. As you know, children your age should be active for at least 60 minutes a day. Another healthy habit is getting lots of sleep. Sleep allows us to restore, repair, and rebuild all the things in our body, including our brain. Make sure you're getting 10 hours of sleep a night, and you'll find yourself feeling fresh and ready to make the most out of every day. Four ways you can build healthy habits. Eat the fruit and vegetable rainbow. Even though you may not be in charge of the grocery shopping, you can always make your own healthy choices. Maybe you can choose to drink water instead of a soft drink or juice when you feel thirsty. Buy a piece of fruit instead of sweets from the canteen. Or have some salad with dinner. Simple choices like that can make a huge difference to your health. Eating a variety of fruits and vegetables that are full of different colours is super important because they all help your body in different ways. So, try and have as many colours as you can every day. Sleep well. Nothing should interfere with your sleep. Not even your homework should keep you up longer than you need to be. So, make sure you plan your time well, so you can complete it before bed. Try to keep a good bedtime routine. Going to bed at the same time each night is great for your body and can make going to sleep easier. Keep any phones, tablets and other devices out of your bedroom when it's bedtime. Make your bedroom a place that feels relaxing to you. This means it should be comfortable, quiet, and dark when it's time to sleep. Get active! It doesn't require you to change your entire day. In fact, it's really easy and you might not even realize you're doing it. Playing at lunchtime school sports, riding your bike, or even going for a swim are all examples of exercise that can make up for 60 minutes. If you can minimise the time you spend in front of the screen, you might find yourself spending more time with your friends and moving around. Last but not least, find a balance. Going to extremes, whether it's with your diet, exercise, or sleep, isn't necessary. You can enjoy a bit of everything. So, find a healthy balance of sleep, play, food, water, school, and social time.
I study in class 4C. My birthday falls on 17 October. My name is Vashan Singh. My, my study in class 5B. My birthday falls on 20 October. My name is Apishi. I study in class 5A and my birthday falls on 15 October. My name is Rehan and my birthday falls on 19 October. My name is Ikanj Singh and I am from class B class. 3D, my birthday falls on 24th of June. My name is Jawavi Singh. I am from class 3D. My birthday falls on 29th October. My name is Jay Pare and I am, I am from three, class 3D. My birthday falls, falls on 21 October. My name is Dakar Kaur. I am from 4A and my birthday falls on 21st October. My name is Avan Singh and I am from 5A. My birthday falls on 29 and 2. and the orange and the 
purple? Why should we eat the rainbow of food? Yes? Very good. So all the different colors have different nutrients in them and minerals and vitamins which our body needs to stay healthy, healthy and active. Healthy and active. That's what we were saying. And along with that, of course, at night we also need a little bit of sleep. sleep. Yes? A little or lots? A lot. A lot, yes. So we need a lot of sleep so that we are active in the morning. So thank you so much children. Let's give them a big round of applause. Thank you ma'am so much. Thank you for the wonderful assembly. And this is how children participate and they perform so well. So we had a skit and of course the children who were speaking were so good. So very very nice. I really like the assembly and of course Food is such an important topic. So thank you children. Thank you ma'am. Thank you everyone. I would now request Kuvar to lead the